I've had some questions about how does the receiver detect a stereo station, stereo FM station? Well, let's start with the detector, and that is in the upper right-hand corner. It's right here. This circuit detects the FM signal, and that signal goes down and over and then down again to an IC chip 3. And what's on that signal is this. Over on the left we have a left plus R, which is the monaural audio. Then we've got a 19 kHz stereo pilot. And then we have some left minus R information and a 38K suppressed carrier. Now, to get the left and right channel, the circuit that we're going to go back to does this. It takes the left plus R plus L minus R, and if you solve for that, you get 2L. It also does a L plus R minus L minus R, and when you solve for that, you get 2R. So the output of this circuit that's going to be all the way over to the right is 2L and 2R. If you would like more information on this, just go to my channel, go to the right of the about, and you'll find a channel search. And just search my channel, type in FM, enter, and it will search everything that has FM in it. And there's the video on stereo FM, then demodulation, signal tracing, and even a FM transmitter. Here is a 19 kHz tank circuit. The chip uses this tank circuit to detect the stereo pilot signal. And here's a video showing how the tank circuit can be used for that purpose. Okay, I've got this tank circuit here, and here's our other coil, very similar to what we saw in the diagram. Let me turn the meter on, put it on AC. Okay, I've already got the signal generator on, and let me turn this a little bit here. There we go. And you'll notice that when it's in resonance, we've got a pretty high output. Now, as I move this off resonance, you see that it drops off quickly. Both sides. And when it's in resonance, we have a lot of energy kind of like all that energy is floating on top and it makes it easy to detect. The chip also uses that 19 K Hertz, doubles it to make a 38 K Hertz pilot and it does that because on either side of that pilot is the left minus R information. Now it looks like they're using that signal to drive Q20 and that turns on and off the stereo lamp. Now I have found this part on the circuit board and it's the large board that is in the back. There's a closer look and that resistor is right there. And 
I put an alligator clip on the right side of that resistor and put a voltmeter on it and tuned through stereo stations to see how the voltage varied on the base of that transistor. Okay, it's about positive 9.26 about 5 volts 1017 happy birthday to Black America Web and Tom Dickens find your escape wherever you are get positive encouraging you enter through the narrow gate you've done the right things thank you so much David I appreciate it you know the the, the crazy thing about this Okay, so it gets less positive or more negative. Just be ready. So what are As we saw in the video, when the voltage dropped to a little under 5 volts, the light came on. And when it was off station or on a manorial station, it was reading over 9 volts. Using my tank circuit, I built this circuit, and as I tune through a frequency, it's about oh, 38 or 39, somewhere in there, it um, will light this diode. And when I go to either side, the diode is not lit. And here is the build for that circuit. Okay. I've got it on frequency. So let me move it off frequency here. And you can see that when it goes off frequency, the LED goes out. So this is pretty much what's going on in that chip for detecting stereo signals. Thanks for watching.